Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it's live stream. Perfect. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks to all the participants and uh, jury member, uh, Professor Rogis Bratushkin, who could join us today. Uh, we are really excited to finish the third uh, stage of the competition, which is draft poster um, design. So today we are evaluating the submitted pro uh, works. The next activities uh, will be feed feedback on 3D print test results, which will be on 8th of February with uh, representatives from uh, 3D Concrete Laboratory. And on 15th of February, we will be having the public lecture uh, with uh, Professor uh, Dr. Fabian Mayer from Perry, uh, head of global uh, con concrete construction. And uh, in this case, uh, as you heard last time, he will be able to also give feedback on your posters. So that's uh, a little bonus for s some of you who are still working on the drafts. That would be the final, final deadline. After that, uh, <laughs> no, no one will comment your work anymore. So it will be up to you to finish it. Uh, otherwise, without much further ado, I think we can uh, continue with students' uh, works. And we will start with Team 4AM and then continue with FRA. Uh, meanwhile, if you have anything uh, you want to share or, or uh, some team maybe wants to be later or quicker, you can write it in comments uh, in the Zoom. And uh, if you want to share your screen, you can tell us and then we will stop sharing ours. Otherwise, we can uh, show from here. Uh, so team 4 a.m., we can probably start yeah. with you. Um... I think uh, maybe it will be easier if I share the screen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that is preferable, 100%. Okay, okay. Um, so, okay. Well, you are setting uh, up one one comment for um, with this Bratushkins. Uh, all students this time have mostly similar layout because it's uh, for, for poster evaluators uh, so they can compare the information, but uh, they have some leeway and they can adjust it if they want to. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so for our team, as you can see, uh, we've uh, worked on a bench. Um, for sitting and laying down and uh, enriching the environment of uh, Latvian University campus. Uh, we've chosen to do a, an organic form for the bench uh, to best display the possibilities with 3D concrete printing. And um, so further on, we can show you that uh, the bench is approximately four by four meters. And uh, what we've done is uh, to make the seating of, uh, on the bench more comfortable. We've integrated uh, uh, this wooden deck on top of it, which will be fixed with a metal carcass structure, um, which is uh, fixed to the bench with a, a specific bolt. bolt. Um, in the bench, there's also uh, some greenery to better match it with the surrounding environment as well as it's uh, sort of a solution for the uh, corners of our bench because uh, for the 3D uh, printing technology, it's very hard to do these curves. So this is a way that we've uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, found a solution how to work around it. And uh, the bench uh, consists mainly out of three main structures, uh, which the central one is strictly for a seating position and the two, um, two parts on the side can be used to lay down as well. Um, the complete bench will be um, printed in 36 parts, uh, which will then be connected uh, using uh, metal bolts with the rubber spacers uh, so that the metal doesn't crash against each other. And since there's this little sp space created by the rubber spacer, then there will be a uh, space for water, water to fall down so it doesn't freeze and ruin the concrete in the process. Um, what else? Um, yes, and the same spacing structure will also be used for the wooden deck, which comes upon the concrete, uh, so that there's space between wood and concrete, and then the, uh, and the water doesn't create some sort of uh, uh, rotting for the wooden uh, decking and so on, as well as uh, for long-term 
uh, solution so that you don't have to print uh, concrete parts all over again. Uh, you can simply change the wooden deck if it gets ruined or something breaks uh, over the years and uh, you don't have to replace the concrete parts uh, themselves. Yeah, that in, in uh, broad uh, stretches, that will be all. Thank you for your presentation and uh, we just definitely, if you have any questions and comments, you will be happy to hear them. Uh, well, um, yeah, thanks. <clears throat> uh, thanks for a um, good idea and um, uh, it uh, seems really nice uh, what you <clears throat> uh, told about. Uh, so guys, um, uh, I would say that um, uh, there can be several um, issues that uh, still makes um, uh, to <clears throat> being re uh, to rethink. <clears throat> so um, as far as I understand, uh, <clears throat> uh, the back of uh, this bench will be used as a flower bed or, or something like that. So, um, in fact, it will be filled with soil, right? Uh, only these parts. Uh, here no, 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 no. Beyond, beyond, uh, beyond uh, this uh, oh, oh, concrete structure. Uh, so here. I mean, in the territory, like uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, these, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, so it means that uh, this printed uh, element will also uh, work as um, I don't know if it is uh, appropriate English term as a pressure wall, at balls to see in, right? Struct structural component, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> so um, you. Well, uh, the thing is that this uh, territory isn't developed yet, so if it would be necessary, we could probably ask for the surface under the bench to be uh, uh, paved, like with uh, concrete uh, pavement, no, no, no. <clears throat> if no, it's no, necessary. No, 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 it's not uh, the story about uh, <clears throat> the surface, but it is just um, a story about uh, <clears throat> that area that is beyond the bench. Uh, so uh, there is a rest for no uh, well uh, this uh, well, uh, this uh, lady is uh, sitting and uh, just mm -hmm. enjoying John or so or, or this guy uh, looking uh, at his mobile phone. So he is yeah. sitting on, on on soil, on fact, in in grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and uh, well, what I mean, uh, if um, uh, this uh, concrete structure also um, has to support the grass, the pressure of grass, the, the pressure of mm -hmm. soil. So it is about uh, at least uh, 50 centimeters, but uh, where is um, <clears throat> the backrest? It is about uh, maybe uh, 70, 80 centimeters high. Uh, so it yeah, means the bench, that yes. the, it means that the soil um, makes pressure to this uh, structure and uh, it should be safe, um, well, solid enough not to be uh, moved away by the pressure of the soil. <clears throat> so therefore, if um, you look at uh, these details, uh, you mentioned that uh, all this bench will be consisting of um, 36 uh, details or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, could you scroll a bit, uh, a bit lower, lower, lower? Yeah, <clears throat> so have a look. So these um, uh, these corner details, uh, they should be somehow fixed together uh, in order to combine uh, just a, a solid construction. Otherwise, uh, they can be uh, moved away by the pressure of the soil. That's what I'm concerned about. Could you catch? Yeah, 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 yeah. I understood, but uh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's more easily to see it here. Uh, I yeah, think, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. well, you see, because, uh, well, these details, uh, if um, there is a pressure from behind, uh, they seem just um, very easy uh, spreading out and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and collapsing. But, uh, but, uh, but there won't uh, really be that pressure from behind because the, the soil that's here it's flat with the ground. It's not uh, well. Coming, okay, okay, like, okay. Uh, well, if uh, yeah, it is better because of um, in terms of structure. But then you mm -hmm. should uh, check if these gaps uh, <clears throat> that are formed uh, in in these curves maybe they are too uh, too narrow and uh, no. Well, it will be just. Uh, um, the grass will not grow there because of uh, low sunlight and then so. 
so yeah. it, it, um, it seems um, much better in, in this axonometric uh, uh, picture in this uh, lower part rather than mm -hmm. in, in this left part where, where it is very narrow gap it is um, plastically nice but uh, i'm concerned that uh, uh, there will be very uh, big problems also in maintenance so uh, cutting grass and and so you know that uh, that uh, it will make this structure very difficult to maintain and uh, if it will not be maintained in a well manner so <laughs> it will become more and more ugly that is, <laughs> is a big risk yeah, yeah. I, I understand uh, yeah. Yeah. yes and and the other thing um, you mentioned, um, I didn't catch exactly, but you mentioned that there will be some uh, some detail how uh, this wooden deck uh, where you can sit and and relax, uh, how it will be connected to the concrete um, uh, this structure. But I would say yeah. that there should be a gap between uh, uh, between this um, um, the wooden uh, deck and uh, between the concrete in yeah, order to yeah, let uh, the rainwater be. to flow away. For and, sure. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, we plan to uh, yeah. do and, it with a gap for sure. Yeah, and uh, the next uh, thing and the last thing is that this deck should be um, easily removable, uh, not only for repairs, but also maybe mm -hmm. from time to time again maintenance, because still there may be some dirt between this uh, concrete uh, surface nevertheless how um, uh, precise and and how smooth it will be uh, but uh, but still it should be uh, some time uh, taken away and again uh, uh, cleaned and, and put uh, back so i yeah, think that yeah. it is a very nice idea and <clears throat> let you have success um, but still think about these uh, <laughs> a couple of issues in order to get it even better yeah, yeah thank you I think very much. Like, <laughs> what Ojis is saying, these will be the questions that will come up in the final <laughs> presentation from prob probably from him, yes. And and uh, another thing that yes, uh, there is a risk also if there isn't ground that people will throw trash there, they're like drinking something from the bottle yeah, yeah. or <laughs> pre preferably milk. Uh, no, or... no, no, it is not a risk anymore because now deposit system is introduced in, ah, then... <laughs> from the <laughs> day <laughs> now, <laughs> all the trash will be <laughs> taken to the deposit system. Very, very good. Good. Yeah. Students will collect it for some cash. Right. Uh, maybe okay. we can show the model to this if he. Uh, the model is in the next room. I think. Oh, no, this, this one is not. We can vibrant. show like uh, Matis can show like. Um... Ah, the pictures. Uh, no, they are also like yeah. Like... I think it will be easier to show it like uh, not in a camera, but yeah. in the. Uh, I will maybe show you the can pictures. show the pictures. Yeah. But uh, m mostly why pictures are important in this case is that they are showing the real scale of the um, also print uh, elements. You can see, yes, yes, yes. see yeah, the pots and the there elements. Is. So there were actually yeah, these 36 elements and they all fit like they're unique. So will uh, will <clears throat> they be printed uh, with uh, this empty, uh, empty um, uh, gap in between? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but, um, but the surface will be solid. No, that's for flowers. Uh, I, those corners are for flowers. Uh, maybe ah, they can explain it more. Ah, so that's why it there. looks like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, these photos well, really well, help. Well, 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 yeah. well, well. <laughs> well, well. But, but if, if uh, these um, elements are for flowers, um, uh, just think, uh, then uh, they should be uh, printed with, uh, with still some more plastic uh, these um, uh, flower bed places otherwise uh, it will be impossible to clean uh, uh, the soil if uh, the inner plastic inner 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 yeah 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 inner plastic inner elements and narrow gaps uh, it's uh, absolutely so you can also take it out when necessary and yes. replace it let's say yes 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 mm -hmm. Just, yeah. And probably something about water i don't know like maybe it goes out to the back i don't know should yeah you? like these holes like drainage it's called yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well there, there is a drainage system i or think it just um, goes through to the ground yeah, it goes through it is it's yeah. okay but i think oh, it okay. just doesn't have the but, bottom but, uh, like they have designed but the inner surface itself should be um, without these very narrow corners mm -hmm. but, but if I it goes it is, through it is adaptable for a printing. It's um, not uh, making uh, the construction somehow more complicated, I guess. 
it's even uh, gives a good reason to 3D print it because it would be really hard to do it traditionally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, it is uh, very adaptable for 3D printing. I, I think uh, that's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. And the only thing, if it sits on the ground and uh, it's summer and winter cycles going through, it will melt and freeze. I am a bit afraid it can go and uh, start uh, pushing or sinking uh, in different speeds if they have different yeah. weights and the way this Therefore, mass centers. I think, I think that these elements still should be anchored mm -hmm. somehow all together to make a solid construction, not just uh, one another and third part. It's like uh, mm -hmm. like chairs in our uh, 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 classroom, so they may be blocked together and, and then they are solid all together, otherwise they can be also removed separately. Yeah, or, or the yeah. foundation is somehow reinforced but still allows water to pass, like these um, tiles that have holes in them, something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for the presentation. Yeah, no, thanks. Um, great idea and a really very interesting uh, project. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Have a good luck. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, so the next theme is Fra uh, Erwin. Will you share your screen or we can put it on ours? Hey, yeah, let me share my screen, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, how much time do we have? Like two, three minutes, uh, right? Given that we have uh, only six teams today uh, that have uh, updated the posters, mm -hmm. I would say that you can have uh, five minutes, definitely. Oh, okay. So the long story short, uh, we're a team of three people. Uh, two of us are architects and I myself, I'm in China. I'm a manager. Uh, and, and today I will introduce the project briefly to you. Uh, the long story short, our project is situated in the north part of the newly built area of the campus, not university campus. Uh, it's situated from the north to the south, uh, and it has pretty nice insulation uh, throughout the day, uh, also facing the west, west sun during the evening. Uh, the main idea is to have uh, two parts. One is the way we line that um, highlights the qualities of the printed concrete. Uh, that works uh, as 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 a roof and also as as a place where to sit. And then we also have a wooden installments uh, that are meant to be seated on. So basically, the concrete is uh, uh, mostly visual and protective, uh, and people are not supposed to interact or or stress it in any way. Um, just showing maybe a few diagrams. So basically, we're planning to have a mesh, uh, something like 15 centimeters in the ground. So we will need to have the floating uh, base. Uh, we're going to have reinforcement there uh, because of there are two, two main problems we're going to face. One is the weight, because based on our calculations, we are talking about 2.9 cubic meters of concrete. Uh, that's around 6,000 uh, 6, kilograms. So we would not like this uh, structure to sink. And also we would not like it to uh, split apart, drift apart because we are talking about arch-like structure. So we are believing that we will need something stronger on, on, on the ground. Um, all of these white, white part, the concrete part is made of 19 different pieces that are interconnected uh, using key locks uh, like this, uh, which are going to be reinforced with some uh, metal structure on these uh, points where they're touching. Um, the, the structure is going to be printed on the perimeter. And then inside of each of these 19 pieces, as you can see here, uh, they will be filled in late, uh, afterwards. So basically, we talk about uh, the shell that we print. And then we infill the rest um, after discussion with some engineers who will decide if we need any other reinforcement inside of these slabs. Probably we will. Uh, and then we just put um, steel mesh inside and then pour the concrete and then fill, fill the gaps. So it's solid in the end, um, right? Uh, so after we assemble the structure, then we lay in the, the concrete foundation, either some low quality concrete or, or something that that's will be under the ground mm -hmm. for the most of the time. Uh, then we have the payment part. Uh, which we believe we would like to cover the same payment as as the as uh, there is in the project. So we would like to achieve this feeling of floating uh, structure that goes in and out on the ground. Um, the printing is happening on the side, so we will have a longitudinal uh, prints 
uh, which is also helping with drain water and maybe, and we hope it will also collect less water and moisture. So during the winter time, it may hopefully may have less problems with uh, splitting and, and uh, water expansion. Uh, here in the middle, there are connections, uh, the openings where we're going to go and put the wooden slabs, which are roughly 75 millimeters in width. So we believe it, it will be pretty convenient to sit on them. Um, and the whole structure is divided into several zones uh, because as, as we had several discussions, we believe Latvians are not uh, very keen on uh, uh, parting altogether. Uh, we Latvians, we would like to have our own spots. So then we have a place for, for the bicycles on, over here in the end. And we have this uh, the area which uh, Latvian university people don't like to call smoking area, but which uh, is going to be a smoking area for people to, uh, to, to, uh, to be under the roof, under the shed, uh, not being affected by the bad weather conditions, which are pretty usual. And then they ha can have their uh, as, I, as I wrote here, uh, a place to think of a better habits. So maybe they may reconsider their habits, maybe think of something else. So then we also have some sitting areas here, some places for, for thinking also covered under the roof. Um, the whole construction is roughly, uh, it's exactly 13 meters in length. Uh, we have divided them into several pieces based on the, on the convenience of people that are inside or using this object. And the width is uh, one meter, 800 centimeters, uh, millimeters, which is uh, roughly a little bit less than two meters, which is convenient for two people to be there and have a conversation, for example. Uh, there are some pictures of the 3D printed model. So this, this shall look like this only uh, with less polygons because 3D concrete is, has these qualities that it can be as fluid shape as possible. That's something we're going to go for. Um, that's our goal, and this uh, was a little bit. Uh, this is a good test print, which shows that we we shall uh, we had to rework the object, the model, which we already did, um, and and we are looking forward to have some fun. Yeah, I think that's the long story short. Thank you, Erwin. Is it my turn to? Speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's always you. You are the. We we do have Yuris here too, who can uh, comment if he has an idea. But but uh, this you are you are today's uh, head head <laughs> commenter. So yeah. Yeah, it is a nice um, uh, and up to date idea. Um, a structure not for gathering but for separating people. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so yeah, joking. <clears throat> Well, guys, um, um, it looks um, pretty nice. Um, I think that um, <clears throat> it's important uh, where this structure could be located because uh, uh, it is uh, somewhat a bus stop or, or you know, some, some meeting point or, or separating point. <clears throat> but this linear structure still um, somehow uh, would fit very well uh, more to street area maybe <clears throat> in comparison with the previous team uh, for example uh, that was uh, somewhat uh, um, differently organizing uh, space but uh, that's not a problem that's uh, an advantage so i uh, i think that <clears throat> uh, this structure could be of um, very uh, <clears throat> good shape and interest uh, well um, <clears throat> However, I would say that um, there are some parts of, uh, well, I would say formalism that uh, is not a very positive thing, uh, especially that uh, third curve uh, that is too low uh, to be functionally used for anything. And then so um, it's a bit un unpredictable what is the reason for, uh, for this uh, third part of uh, the structure. Uh, because it is neither sitting area, neither shelter area. In fact, it is um, somewhat next to nothing. <clears throat> and um, I think it is, um, it is uh, that is not good that in a good concept there are uh, such unpredictable places uh, that you cannot understand uh, what is the reason uh, for them being designed. Uh, 
so I would appreciate if you could um, rethink uh, somehow and then maybe uh, turn this uh, problem into uh, <laughs> somehow effect. <clears throat> the other thing that I um, uh, would say is uh, very suspicious. Uh, again, these are these uh, narrow uh, gaps uh, that are formed between surface and, and these plastic um, um, shapes because of, uh, of all kinds of dust. Old leaves, um, uh, dirt, sands, uh, <clears throat> there, will, there will be always dirty and it will be absolutely impossible to clean it. Uh, so uh, you should uh, think about it because um, you know in, in such a place uh, where you can uh, see uh, all, all this stuff uh, it will not be pleasant um, uh, to meet there and, and uh, to spend time there. Uh, so uh, um, uh, this, uh, uh, this part where this lady, is it lady in the black dress uh, standing there? Uh, so you uh, you see uh, this uh, okay. shape uh, in fact uh, uh, meets um, <clears throat> a surface uh, into 90 degree uh, angle and that's okay. That means that you can uh, clean there and so, but uh, these other gaps are too narrow. <clears throat> then I would say that um, in a complex um, design proposal, I would appreciate if, uh, let's say, a trash can could be integrated in the design rather than just placed next to it. Um, the same is for uh, bicycle stands. Uh, why not uh, to use uh, one of uh, these uh, curves also for um, uh, bicycle shelter? Why should bicycles um, remain in uh, open air? <clears throat> raining and then snowing, but uh, um, but the shelter is uh, nearby. So uh, there are a couple of um, these uh, uh, functional uh, <laughs> um, uh, tiny things that uh, that still um, uh, I think um, don't um, uh, turn this concept in in a very brilliant one. It is uh, it is uh, still on the way towards it. Uh, and then I would say that uh, if you could uh, rethink uh, some of these issues, that uh, it would be very good uh, to become um, better organized spaces, um, all functions integrated rather than just uh, put uh, one to um, uh, another, and avoiding uh, these problematic uh, <clears throat> gaps and, and narrow angles and curves <clears throat> uh, that. Um, uh, sooner would make uh, problems um, rather than benefit. So uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, I feel um, a very good uh, potential in this idea, but you still should uh, work a bit <clears throat> uh, uh, to improve um, the concept. Yeah, that's, totally get it. That's yeah, my, yeah. My, my mind. It's probably just maybe one comment from my side based on location, uh, because over here from, from south north, there's this uh, bicycle cyclist path, which is expected to be pretty vivid based on, on, on these big scale drawings. So in a way, when we did this shape, we were probably thinking of, uh, we were thinking of the stopping place for the cyclists to maybe have a look or just uh, drink some coffee or have a smoke, right? Um, maybe that's why the shape reminds of, of some a bus stop or something but that's uh, pretty much intentional and and we still think it's one of the good locations where we could do that um, no I, not... I i mentioned the bus stop because of uh, this very linear structure so it, it somehow right, right. makes me thinking of this but uh, but right, another, right. Uh, another problem no well we can uh, call it a problem is uh, that uh, uh, it's uh, difficult uh, to understand why each of the waves if, is of a different height. Uh, so this first wave is uh, quite impressive and uh, people can walk uh, under there. Uh, the next uh, wave uh, is not so uh, high, there people can only sit down. Uh, so uh, maybe they can uh, have their heads uh, somehow injured if they uh, rise up to uh, to um, intensively 
Yeah, so therefore I would say that it uh, could be a good idea somehow to balance function uh, with um, you know, this uh, height of shelter if it is necessary to have this graphical um, shape. But uh, really then, uh, at least in some parts, there could be a shelter for bicycles. And it would be uh, very, uh, very functional and, and uh, reasonable, uh, reasonable uh, use of, of this uh, shape. So one, uh, one height is for people for standing and then sitting. Another that can be a bit lower can be for bicycle storage. No, and the third was problematic, as I already said. I, I cannot imagine uh, what is the purpose of it. Maybe if they had like small animals in the No, maybe, or dogs. maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dogs, that's... cats, rats, rats, <laughs> birds, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> skateboard shelter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, something like that, yeah. So um, I, I really like the idea. So uh, therefore, um, it's a bit. Uh, it would be a pity if uh, all these uh, things uh, wouldn't be solved in a brilliant way. So therefore, if you have time and energy, please uh, do rethink, and it will uh, be a very nice um, project and uh, really <clears throat> uh, nice uh, result of uh, the workshop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the next team is Rear, and after that we have Team Habitat. Uh, so Rear, if you're ready, then we also are ready for you. Andrew, you should probably check in chat which teams are uh, present. Do we have Rear today? Oh, I have like time countdown, like five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Let, let's go with Habitat, because yes, I, I already know that check. Chris joined and he's probably waiting and then mm -hmm. We can go to Riyar in the very end if yeah. they if they join. Then then after Krish is crazy idea. Yes, exactly. And Daniel is here as well. Uh, well hello everyone. <laughs> I will share my screen and tell you about the habitat. Whoop, one moment. Wait, can you see me now? Mm -hmm. uh, we see the Zoom screen. Uh, it's um, ah okay. So you shared, yeah. Now we can see the okay. actual screen. I think. So yeah. this this is the object we are working on. It's a sculptural object, which uh, uh, the idea is about cohabitation and uh, this intricate balance between nature and man-made structures, and the main inspiration from for this sculpture is from uh, naturally occurring uh, rock formations. So slightly crystalline formations and also uh, plant life, the way plant cells develop and divide. And the way this is modeled is also uh, using generative methods. So we give some certain control over some aspects of these cells but over that, other than that, it is procedural. And, uh, and yes, to, uh, <laughs> imp uh, as far as the improvements, uh, we certainly know that we have to fill the bottom ones. So we will have this texture still visible, but they'll be filled for structural integrity. And so no people would climb up it. Uh, as for uh, necessary uh, construction, since this is a fairly tall object, which spans up to five and a half meters in height, we would also need uh, these concrete rebar pillars. So it would be sa safe to use and to view. And uh, we expect that over time, this structure will grow over with some smaller organisms and smaller plant life. As for uh, electricity and other installations, uh, we believe that it would look rather nice if it would be lighted. And we also are open for the possibility of uh, placing some ambient light inside of it. As for uh, concerns about uh, moisture, uh, 
most of these open cells would be either fully open or would have uh, these openings for the uh, moisture to uh, <laughs> drip down. Yes. As for printing, uh, we believe that it will be good to print it in uh, these smaller cell assemblies. And each of these structures would have about five to seven of them. And then we achieve this larger sub-assembly, and then we combine the three of them to create this sort of uh, nobelisk. Oh, yes. <laughs> and here we can see the expected vision for the object that it would slowly grow over and integrate even further with the surroundings. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, great, Grish. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, ambitious idea. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, well, um, uh, still I am a bit concerned. Um, is it um, uh, shown in appropriate scale? This no, no, this this uh, four hundred twenty centimeters. No, no, that that picture that was with measures, uh, four hundred twenty centimeters uh, length and five hundred forty seven centimeters height. But the proportion is twice as high as wide, so I would say. No, it certain... is. Uh, it's. It might give this impression visually, but uh, I'm certain that these are the correct measurements because I derived them from the three D model itself. So oh, this no, is but, uh, but, uh, diameter. But, but proportionally, it doesn't uh, look uh, appropriate. So uh, okay. it is uh, actually it is uh, next to two times higher than than wider and well at least uh, one one and third part. So um, be so kind and check. Uh, otherwise, uh, well, if it is so high and then so uh, small, if this um, uh, base uh, basis area, it may be uh, unstable. Uh, uh, to counter this, we we thought of this and one is that it's uh, shaped sort of as a pyramid. It balances in on yeah, itself, yeah, that is one it, point. You are and, absolutely uh, right, but it is yes. very high and then very narrow pyramid. And, uh, and, of, and, of and course. Wind, wind, load, wind load probably also. And is, wind load, yeah, wind load. I, I didn't mention it yet, but, uh, but wind load is <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, uh, we are working together with uh, our stroke construction engineer to calculate the correct uh, pillar pillar height yeah sure sure no, uh, uh, what uh, what i mean uh, the shape itself is uh, quite nice it's really really pretty good uh, but but just if you uh, put uh, the figures nearby then i start uh, comparing and then then i have this question mm -hmm. if it is appropriately uh, 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 these figures. Well, uh, the other thing uh, uh, Matis mentioned the wind loads, but uh, but I uh, didn't um, uh, want to speak about load. But um, have you figured if there can be some side effect uh, to this structure? Uh, it can turn, let's say, in something like wind whistle. So there can mm. be a sound moving uh, <laughs> through the air, and it can be uh, quite an interesting effect. I wouldn't say mm. that it is negative, but but you should somehow check it, um, mm. and then maybe maybe the for the shape of uh, of this structure also could be modified in uh, order to get some definite uh, um, uh, kind of sound. Oh, it's a, it's a very good point, actually. Uh, uh, I'm quite really, sure really that really there, like there, there will be some some effect like this. <laughs> no, we'll uh, I will research how to how to check for this or even to, to yeah, determine. Yeah. It is quite it's a very very interesting point, really. Uh, maybe you can uh, find some uh, uh, some some um, advice uh, from acoustic um, engineers. So maybe they. Uh, 
have an idea, some wind tunnel or, or something where you maybe you can test some some prototype or, or something like that. I will uh, speak with my uh, actually team member, uh, Wal Valdemars. He is really into sound yeah. sculptures yeah, 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 and sound yeah. arts. Right. Yeah. I think it will be a very interesting yeah. project. Yeah, <laughs> you will uh, be able not only to see it but also to hear it. <laughs> mm. Krish, Krish, I think you have a very practical way of testing it out. If you <laughs> send the print model to yours, then I think it will also yes, answer some, uh, yeah. some of the questions. Uh, yeah, I'm working on improving it. <laughs> yes. Good, good. No, I, I'm very interested. Uh, what will be the answer when Otis uh, will ask about cleaning? <laughs> uh, well, I will ask uh, this uh, question. Uh, he doesn't need <laughs> because it's at uh, Latvian university, not an art university. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, the part, it's a part of the concept. I mean, I also believe that, uh, well, for, first, to, to counter the concerns you previously mentioned about trash buildup, uh, we will uh, work with the cells to either close them off or make them small enough uh, to be inaccessible oh. up to this point. Well, Chris, but you, you, as you, for you, leaves and plant life, it's a uh, part part of the way this sculpture evolves. There is some buildup of soil, which is not uh, a bad thing in my view. Well, you mentioned I will try to prepare some renderings for the next uh, ne next meeting. Uh, Chris, you mentioned Those. twice that you will be uh, going to fill uh, with some material this uh, some part. So, what kind of material? Uh, contour, contour filled concrete, but uh, filling it only about uh, two thirds of the cell, so we would still retain this uh, texture. And ah, you will way, see, we will still, also um, it will be, uh, see uh, it will be possible to see through uh, some cells some cells yes but uh, at least for the bottom ones uh, mostly you won't be able to see through as for the upper ones yes they will be see through and this also helps to create to make this uh, structure more stable and bottom heavy so it would be safer against loads and, and wind Fine. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Let it be. Yes, yeah. there's still a, still a month to finish up. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yes, we move to the next uh, yeah. team. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Uh, so the next team is Crazy Idea and then uh, and then Architects. And then if we have they are, then we will have them. Uh, so yeah, Crazy Idea, you're up. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so my name is Daniela and I uh, create this bench. Uh, so um, it can be placed um, in front of a uh, university. And uh, this is the place. Uh, yes. So uh, this bench can uh, include uh, six uh, pieces and uh, this, uh, this bench can be replaced in different places. So uh, this is the uh, best part of this. So it can looks like this. Sorry for a short, uh, short presentation, but my English is not so cool. <laughs> Oh, if we can switch to Latvian for, for this part too. Yeah, it depends, like, but also it was nice. Uh, sometimes short presentations are actually very great and then Ojis can have more questions and, yes. and, <laughs> and then you can discuss it. So, yeah. yeah, thanks. <clears throat> well, um, um, I feel that it is um, a very uh, simple approach. Um, sometimes uh, there is a beauty in simplicity. Uh, so, <clears throat> That's fine, but uh, <clears throat> what I think is important um, to have a, to have an effect uh, from this simplicity 
so in uh, this uh, case, I feel that uh, the concrete surface should be absolutely perfect. So no uh, these um, no curves, um, no no uh, any kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> of uh, cracks or or I don't know. It should be absolutely brilliantly polished, uh, like a marble uh, marble plate. Uh, marble plate, and in uh, that uh, case, uh, I think it will be a really very nice uh, <clears throat> street furniture. So it will. Um, get some uh, sunlight, it will um, uh, be heated um, the surface, it will be uh, pleasant uh, to rest also in the evening time, well, when the sun goes down and still uh, <clears throat> the concrete uh, keeps uh, some warmth. Uh, so uh, I uh, think that it will be a very nice um, piece of um, outdoor furniture indeed. But in case uh, that all the surfaces are perfectly uh, smooth, that, that's my impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Maybe Yuris or someone else has comment on this. Right? Uh, Yuris definitely has a comment that he yeah. would like to showcase the <laughs> probably <laughs> the, the 3D print lines. But I think uh, especially if there are a lot of teams, I think uh, we, we also talked with Maris that it, it, it could be tried out to also see this approach. M maybe even show one part of it being smoothed out and maybe one side leaf so you can see how it uh, looks or compare how it ages. Uh, what I know, if I had a bike or, or a skateboard and I was uh, <laughs> adventurously inclined, I would definitely <laughs> try to do something there with that. Mm -hmm. but, but... Yeah, actually, like, I think it would look interesting in both uh, materials. Like I saw like uh, Daniel's first renders, it kind of almost looked like a metal, very shiny. But then again, I think it would also look interesting in like concrete with these stripes and lines. But yeah, then again, it all ends up, uh, is it usable? But yeah, just to see those two different views would be interesting. I think maybe Daniel's project is one of those which we will need to test because it's one of the yeah, few yeah. ones which the big, uh, big where thing. you sit on the concrete. For most other ideas, you sit on wood uh, or, yeah, or some other you, material. You can actually come to the laboratory and sit on it and just yeah, see yeah, because is it good or not. If the surface is um, uh, of a very high quality, it's no <clears throat> problem to sit on uh, the mm -hmm. concrete surface. Oh, we were thinking if there are these ribs from the prints, then they will probably... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then uh, <laughs> again, it is a question of design, how they are treated and how they are exposed. Uh, but, but I feel that uh, this uh, shape could be um, very interesting, but in case if it is very, very perfect. If mm -hmm. it is not, the, it, is, it, is, it will be just a disaster. To or a massage do. chair. <laughs> yeah, 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 it will be dirty, uh, there will be... Uh, uh, dust uh, in in all these cracks and then so and uh, it it will it will it will not work definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you, Daniel. Oh so, yeah, you have a great challenge. So um, yeah, I would month. say we have one month for concrete print testing. We could actually try like adding like or you should you should talk with Maris. Is it possible to try adding this um, material on top of it, which smoothens uh, the lines? Yeah, out? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Uh, yeah, the next team is architects. I have heard this uh, word somewhere before. I <laughs> cannot uh, just recall. <laughs> Very popular, yes. I think. There's also a faculty with this name. So oh, what yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yes, it's yes, Vladimir is uh, one of the students. So it means that he will be judged like extra, <laughs> extra hard. <laughs> if he's making such strong assumptions. Hello everybody and this great evening. So today I represent uh, Team Architects and I will try to tell what we have done till this time. Uh, so actually we are creating the idea that is uh, giving us uh, a way to participate in this uh, competition, but now we are trying to uh, figure out how to a little bit um, create it better and one of the reason why we are trying to create it better is that that uh, on the side plan we see that there is a lot of greens that is very good but there is a lot of greens that uh, is able to use benches from one side uh, but what our idea and like uh, 
core things that we are wanted to create is uh, to create a bench from two sides. So uh, at this moment, we are actually right now, uh, I think that right now it's already printing our object and we understand that uh, maybe we will create our idea from the one side where people can see from one side, but it's not changing a uh, whole idea because uh, we are thinking about create the benches that is um, able to put it uh, straight forward, like create the many benches that is when they are mirrored, they are creating a line that uh, will not end it. And it gives us uh, ability to put them everywhere where we want, uh, like in every place where it's the long line of the place where we can put that benches for example here here or here and other side in this way as well here because uh, the problem when we get it so when we put our bench in the middle we see that there is uh, not enough uh, space for people who is uh, going through that place so it's uh, would be the one of the things that we will change from this idea that we has already but uh, conceptual it uh, will not change as well uh, about the wall construction, uh, maybe in this place we will show you better because this picture is a little bit lying for you and this will picture show better the thing what we are doing. Um, it will be printed very easily like uh, extrusion way like up uh, and make uh, circles, uh, but um, you see the problem there is a walls like uh, uh, that we will uh, closed with the wood beams, how we can see here, but then we have uh, the places that is not uh, uh, hidden, it's here, because there it's uh, looking that it's concrete, but uh, how we can do it with the extrusion method, like here. So we are looking for that, that we will like uh, create an offset in these places, uh, the same uh, of the walls offset, and then maybe connect with the uh, wood beams because then it's uh, it looks like like we put the beams here and we will put beams here and there we will put the soil and then uh, flowers and something else and then it will be may, maybe actually it will be looks uh, uh, a bit better than right now because there will be uh, a wood where people can sit and they will can able to put their hands up there or something else and that will create uh, this place more uh, familiar and uh, the conception thing yes uh, from what we are inspiring it is the buildings that is already built there and uh, this is the smooth forms and parametric things that is already having here and we see that uh, this type of benches in Latvian university place there would be very great if it will be put in not only one but many and create a lines like panorama views and people can get there not only from universities like Latvian university students but uh, everybody so this is the thing that we already done and what we are looking for to do Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for your story and thanks for your work. <clears throat> I didn't catch exactly the idea that you uh, said that these benches will be somehow placed uh, near near some structure and so they uh, can be used only from one side right uh like i will try to repeat uh, the thing that right now it's yes from three sides yeah, uh, yeah exactly it it uh, seems uh, very nice but if it is placed uh, next to something so there will be some gap between this bench and this something so uh, it will. It will. You. Um, I think that the concept will lose its uh, um, freestanding um, the shape, and uh, uh, that will not be good. Oh, you may. Yes. Okay. Uh, for for today, I uh, think was uh, if you can uh, give us uh, advice or something else, comments about uh, how we can use this idea already that we have, uh, but. Uh, in the other way, uh, the thing is that we are deleting this part, for example, like the wood part, uh, like extrude it up 
till the this level and create another type of the place where we can put the uh, soil and uh, flowers and then when we are uh, use this model create a mirror create this connection and then it will be smoothly uh, creating a parametric line of the benches where people come and they look like they are every every one of them is different but actually this is the same only like mirror and that's give us access to create these benches near the uh, like like for near these places so, so you mean that uh, the benches will be a barrier between uh, the soil and, and the paved area and uh, all this um, uh, part that is behind uh, the bench, it will be filled with soil and with, uh, with flowers, no well grass and then so? Yes, uh, in these places it will be... Oh, no, in that yes, but, but uh, behind this construction. Uh, behind this construction there will be that what is the planning uh, being here. Well, uh, it means that there will be some gap between uh, uh, that uh, construction that is planned here and and your uh, this bench structure, right? Or I'm I don't understand something. Um, the construction here is like um... it is like a like a wall, let's say, no, not very high, but but still, or or like a pavement. Well, this this line, double line. What what does it uh, pretend? I would think that it is a uh, supposed places for the benches, and then we can create like or type, and then it will be not be there. No, well, okay, yeah, but um, no, uh, yeah. In in this, uh, what we can see these blue benches. They are put uh, with some distance um, uh, away from from this uh, two line, um, I don't know, surface or or, or what. So yeah. what what will um, be uh, going on in this gap between the double line and your blue bench? So it is too narrow to be um, somehow reasonably used. That's my concern. Yes, uh, maybe it's <laughs> this uh, was like a draft. Actually, this is not true. No, that's what I'm uh, talking about. If you um, put the structure just next uh, to, let's say, this uh, flower bed or, or so, uh, then well, okay, uh, it is a barrier between the flower bed and then people can sit uh, from the other side, and that's okay. But if you put them uh, with such a narrow gap, then uh, these questions rise. So, um, uh, what is the bench? What is going on? Uh, uh, from the other side so what is uh, this double line what is between them so uh, i think that uh, placement of uh, this uh, bench is a very important thing in terms of uh, street furniture area and equipment and, and so now, the other thing that uh, came into my head uh, that uh, maybe <clears throat> well you could think uh, of some uh, maybe more advanced um, uh, upgrade for this bench well i mean flower bed is uh, perfect um, it is very nice <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> i appeared being in Ogre recently and then there is a brilliant new building of new library uh, and uh, there also are some benches uh, uh, <clears throat> out of doors near the library uh, and uh, there is integrated uh, lighting system so uh, the bench uh, may uh, be shining in, in the evening. There is integrated the USB uh, charger, uh, so you can plug your uh, phone and then sit on the bench and, and uh, have your phone charged. Uh, so um, I think that uh, this um, simple geometric form uh, allows all kinds of upgrade, uh, of, of up-to-date upgrade. And um, I think that would be um, technologically very advanced if uh, you can just uh, not only uh, use the bench uh, uh, for just sitting and, and enjoying life, but also for some additional uh, usage. So maybe you can rethink of it. Yeah, there, uh, but maybe I have some question. Uh, in Ogre, uh, that lightings are working on the solar system or with the... Uh, I am not uh, uh, very sure. Uh, maybe uh, even uh, there are some solar panels integrated. Maybe, but but I'm not sure. 
Me, jā, that, that is a good reason to, to visit Ogre once more. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard uh, in this uh, like, uh, competition when they say that, uh, uh, Yuri's blogs say that they are not uh, interested to create uh, like electricity put, put in there. No, well, he not. said that... Yeah, he, he said that uh, solar would be preferred, but uh, you can uh, ask for it, and uh, but they'd have to know it quite okay. early that you will need it, and then they can uh, negotiate with their contractors. Uh, so it will not detract from you winning or losing competition, but uh, you shouldn't announce it at the last moment. So the quicker you put it in the project, the more sure we are able that we, will, we can provide it. But it, solar is easier for them because then they don't need. It shouldn't be technologically too complicated. Mm -hmm. But but uh, it should be a block uh, that uh, could be integrated in, in this bench system. So uh, I think perfect solution. Mm -hmm. So I understand that we should to stay think about the tree sided of the sitting places and. Well, I would say that you should rethink um, the location of the bench. It exactly. will be done in uh, various um, ways. So it can be free, uh, freestanding and then, of course, all, uh, all sides should be accessible. But it can be used, I believe, also as barrier. Barrier between uh, paved area and then, let's say, grass area. Uh, but no, in, in uh, this case, uh, you should put it uh, directly on this uh, edge, not uh, not with some distance. Mm -hmm. And then they uh, also maybe um, uh, it may be mixed uh, pattern. So in some places it can can be a barrier between a flower bed or, or grass area and pavement, and in, in some places it may be also freestanding because um, the design allows um, uh, various interpretations of it. <clears throat> well, of course, uh, you see, uh, sometimes uh, it is important to integrate not only USB charger, but also maybe trash can in, in uh, the bench design. And then so, uh, because people uh, like just uh, having some, some trash to, to throw away and then, then it's good that the design is integrated, um, not just to put another trash can next to your brilliant design and then it is ugly and, and uh, <clears throat> make a different impression to your uh, <clears throat> your design bench. So, yeah, but I think that generally uh, this simple form uh, allows uh, very many uh, interpretations and adaptions and uh, that is a big advantage of your concept. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your comments. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Uh, and have a good luck. Yes, thank you. We all need it. Uh, so the last uh, theme for today. Yeah, but we can look at their comments, no, but their proposal, given that uh, the, uh, this meeting is recorded, they can later look at it and probably learn something valuable from the comments. So I will not be presenting their work probably, but uh, I suppose you already remember that they had this hand and uh, they plan uh, an interesting assembly solution here. And this is how they're printed. Yeah. One, one, one change is that they want to do the mechanical part. It's more sculptural. It's so just a hand. You yeah. can, it's just a hand now, but it, it's um, yeah, more about the um, printing techniques and so on. Uh, so does it mean that uh, it will not uh, show signs? The only sign it will show is hello. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we will, they will start with one yeah, sign. Mm. Yeah, here is the model that was printed uh, in plastics. Mm. Like from one to ten. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. Well, uh, what I can say, of course, it is a bit um, pity that uh, the authors can present um, their update because I think it is um, pretty challenging. What is the message of, of the hand um, standing? Okay, hello is a good message uh, anyway, so it works, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, but, um, but no, well, uh, then again, uh, it's quite important uh, where the location is. Uh, being... They plan to be near library? Uh, so the farthest corner uh, of the 
of the campus uh, as yeah, I yeah, understand. Yeah. yeah. So when you come in, it's the first. So yeah, you can they're see in the you. text. You can read a bit uh, yeah. what they have taught, but yeah. Oh, well, it's like, minimality. And inviting knowledge. people to walk into the campus. It's like and, a then, and again, I think that uh, this uh, also is uh, one of the concepts uh, that demand a very brilliant um, surface quality. Yeah. So it cannot be with any cracks and then the technical um, these um, well lines and then so it should be very 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 uh, precise and uh, <clears throat> well uh, well polished and um, then yeah no well okay it will you be know a what sign. I was thinking? hello sign. For me, it would be much more interesting if the hand was actually like I could sit in the hand. <laughs> like it was, it was a hand that actually served as a bench. Yeah, because because having a sculpture, uh, I think we already have techniques for making sculptures, but but uh, having a hand as a chair that would definitely that would be next some, level, definitely. some interest from society to try it out and do photo shoots and uh, all that. Because most of the chairs here are very functional. They look uh, like chairs. They look good, <laughs> but people would probably not have uh, fun with them, like making pictures, putting Instagram stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think this yeah. one could achieve that if they did it uh, as a interactive mm -hmm. element, not only yeah, it would be nice to not look at it only, but yeah, so you can just, uh, I don't know, sit or not only sit, just hang out, take some photos. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. If it's yeah. like, no, a, no, no. like, yeah, it should be I welcoming. Mean, but yeah, we can, that uh, it may become some kind of landmark of, of uh, the yeah. university campus area. So, hello. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> also actually awesome. the it's first. Quite, uh, quite yeah. Nice, yeah. It was actually this hand of this uh, one of their. Um, Ah, the hand of Berlin. The, I see. Yes, yeah, Berlin. Berlin yeah. Well, I suppose when they present, they can. Yeah, because uh, it was actually originally this challenge where they had to uh, pay uh, kind of tribute ah, the, to their tribute. Yeah. Uh, one of the sponsors, university. So I think it was a great idea, and maybe it's a deeper than it looks like in the poster, and then we can ask them to when they present they should like catch the feelings as well not only like this is the hand this is that big so so we can exactly. hear their story definitely oh if people ask what why, why, why there is a hand and they come closer and they read it's that there is a meaning for already it. something <laughs> yeah, yeah some result has been achieved mm -hmm. well uh, thank a you all for st st staying that long uh, these are the teams that currently have submitted the draft posters i suppose for the next deadline we might have some more but uh, at that point uh, it could be that uh, we will uh, only see them in the final presentation uh, where uh, we just will give you not recommendations but <laughs> judgment but uh, otherwise uh, thank you all for being here uh, the next uh, or, or the last time when you will have a consultation on poster design specifically uh, will be with uh, Dr. Fabian which will be on 15th of February uh, seven o'clock as you usually this time and for the next meeting Yuris Kliava and uh, Maris Schenke from 3D Concrete Laboratory and Design Factory will give feedback on your 3D print test results so if you haven't sent anything yet uh, it's already too late almost but maybe <laughs> but yeah, 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 don't, 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 don't delay it anymore uh, otherwise thank you all special thanks to Ujis and Yuris and, and uh, see you all at the finals I guess <laughs> or, or next week <laughs> thank you Oh, by the way, we just can mark down. It's 1st of April. Uh, the, the okay, final. thanks. Very, <laughs> very good day. Very good day. Perfect. Uh, okay, see you, see you guys. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye.